What's going on, everybody? This is Jose Battencourt, and thank you for listening to another episode of the Anything Podcast. So I'm going to talk about internet celebrities, or more specifically, people who think that they're internet celebrities, that they are above everyone else. Now, I'm talking more in, in the realms of video games here. I've been involved in the video game culture for 10 years, podcasting, writing for websites, uh, interacting with a vast community of people in video game podcasting, helping to establish video game podcasting as legit, as something legitimate that publishers and developers can turn to for information, to gather information, to spread information about their products as well. And so I've been involved in all this. I've been in events. I've been flown to events. I mean, it's, it's a story that I tell all the time, and I probably sound like I'm bragging, but I do apologize if I do come off as brash, but I never consider myself or I never carried myself as some sort of celebrity, even though there are people now who do video game podcasts, who do YouTube videos that want to accomplish the things that I have already accomplished long ago, they strive for that. And there's nothing wrong with that. But some of those people have a spec, have accomplished a spec of what I've accomplished, but yet carry themselves in a way that their shit don't stink. And believe me, their shit stinks and some of their content stinks. Now, I'm not one to get into internet beef. Once in a while, if I see a few people going at it on my t Twitter timeline, which is at Jose V Beta, I'll get involved if I know the people. Uh, well, meaning that I know them via Twitter or social me social networks. I'll get involved, you know, especially if there's people who are trying to troll me, who are trying to, uh, you know, by trolling, it is people who will diss everything you do, who will try to get into some type of debate with you. If it's a very, if, if it's a debate that actually has some, uh, some substance to it that can lead to something really good, I'll debate everybody. You know, it doesn't mean I'm going to win, but if there's a good discussion that turns into a debate, then so be it because I can learn something. But you'll have these people who want to begin a debate, yet there's no facts behind their debates. And so the debate ends very quickly with either they destroyed me with no facts at all, or after I present myself in a manner that they realize that they're in for a world of shit, they block me on Facebook or Twitter, or they down, you know, they put dislikes on my YouTube videos or whatever. You know, they find their little ways that they can get some revenge, that they can feel as if they accomplished something in their life. But there's some incidents that happened in a few podcasts. I'm not going to name names. And some of the hosts got into it and a few of the hosts basically looked like a bunch of assholes and, and made themselves look really, uh, really, they, they took themselves to a low level over a few dollars. Now I'm not going to name names as I stated. So this whole situation went down. Of course it became a very popular topic because uh, you know, whenever there's some gossip or whatever in the video game community, it spreads really fast. And people were watching the results of this particular YouTube video. And the host of this particular YouTube stream was getting a bunch of hits because of this incident. Now, this is two different, two different YouTube videos I'm talking about, but very similar in the way they approached this type of... Uh, I guess popularity or, or attention. I think that's more to it, the attention, because in YouTube, attention gets you clicks. And if you have a partnership with YouTube or you're part of a network, clicks get you money. You know, depending on the amount of clicks, doesn't mean you're gonna get rich, but you get a few cents in your pocket. 
So clicks are generally what you aim for if you're worried about that. So anyway, I had uh, I had watched some of both videos, saw what happened, was able to leave my own uh, feedback on the situations that happened. And about a week later, I saw a video where somebody had made a response to one of the videos and I agreed with it. I put a thumbs up and it shared on my Twitter. And one of the culprits from that was involved in the original gossip or, or situation got pissed off with me because the, the video response popped up on my timeline and he basically said, why are you bringing this up again? Blah, blah, blah. And, and he tried to get into a dissing match with me, but because I totally played it cool and showed him the facts that number one, I didn't make this video. He thought it was me. So I shot, I shut him down with that one. And then he was like, but why are you bringing it up? And I said, well, it's there. I don't control the content on the internet. It's there. I agree with it. You're part of what I agree with or, or the, the way he acted and, and the, and, and the whole situation, how it went down. I agree with, uh, blah, blah, blah. Anyway, I'm mumbling. I apologize. So he tried to get me into some sort of sort of argument or whatever. I don't know. He called me a, f a fucking idiot at the end. And I was like, all right, you know, very nice of you. And then proceeds to block me. Now, this particular person is supposed to be this, you know, you know, very. Uh, how can I say this? He, he, he tries to come off as someone who exposes a lot of people, blah, blah, blah. And, you know, some somebody that people should fear on YouTube. I mean, that in itself sounds idiotic me saying that sounds really stupid but uh the other guy that blocked me was also involved in the same video and i never interacted with this dude and he blocked me and this individual comes off at this as this internet thug who is quick to just jump on people and curse them out and blah 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 again once again blah 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 because that's all i hear when i hear these individuals talk and he blocked me. So I was like, wow, I'm getting blocked by these internet thugs who I've never interacted with before. So I must be doing something right for me to hurt their feelings before I even ever speak to them. That means word gets around. Maybe they didn't like the fact that I had the video linked on my Twitter feed. That wasn't my intention. I'm not here apologizing, by the way. But they messed up. And... The video that I linked happened to be talking about them and how and their behavior. So if they didn't like the facts that was presented on that video, which was about them, then why even act that way? If you can't accept the consequences, be careful with how you act next time. But that's not my job to tell these guys the proper way to behave. They can behave however they feel like it. It's up to them. But the fact is... There are a lot of people who assume that because they have a few thousand followers on YouTube or on Twitter, that they're above anything and everything. Me, I deleted my original Twitter, which was at JVB, and that had close to 4,000 followers. People still call me JVB, by the way, because that's my gamer tag on Xbox Live. I've had that for 10 years. It's one of the few three-letter Xbox Live accounts out there. So actually, my freaking Xbox One just turned on. Freaking thing. Anyway, uh, it turned on because I said Xbox. And whenever I say Xbox on, it doesn't turn on. But anyway. Uh, so I've, I've been in gaming. I've been involved in gaming a very long time. I'm st I still am. And I purposely deleted my more popular Twitter account because I wanted to see how people were going to react to someone with just a little over 500 followers. And I'm surprised. Well, I'm not really surprised. I'm more amused at the reaction I get when I, I interact with someone who has maybe two, 3,000 followers and how they begin to talk to me or, or they tweet at me as if I don't know what the hell I'm doing. And when I prove otherwise, they either block me 
or we become cool and we follow each other and interact or I have them on the podcast and vice versa. So it's a, it's a crap game. It's, it's a game of, of freaking uh, craps and you throw the freaking dice and you know, if you win, you win. Sometimes you win, sometimes you lose, but you know, there are a lot of people out there who want to be the big dog, but cannot accept the consequences or, or the responsibility that comes with acting that way. And that involves having feedback from people that genuinely, genuine, genuinely, excuse me, want to give you feedback, want to give you critical feedback that can help you either better your show or understand what maybe that you're doing something wrong, but they take offense to it immediately. That, is, that was something I had to learn like my first three years of podcasting, but I learned. There are some people who refuse to learn. They jump the gun. They go psychotic. They call themselves the best podcaster in the world. They call themselves the dream team, blah, blah, blah. There's a lot of interesting characters out there on the YouTube and on the podcast universe. Uh, when it comes to video games, you get all types of, uh, oh, all types of individuals who really should not be doing this. But, you know, podcasting has become easier. YouTube has allowed people to do Google Hangouts and stream their little get-togethers on Google and and have therapy sessions. And some people have taken advantage of Google Plus or Google Hangout and have made some really high-quality podcasts that actually are entertaining. So there's a little bit of everything out there. Unfortunately, those that... Those people who are very masochistic, you know, they, 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 they swear they're beyond everything else and, and just feel as if their little 2,000, 3,000 subscriber number represents who they are in real life, represents a status quo that is beyond every, anything anybody uh, has, ever, has ever accomplished and, and that, you know, they're very self-centered and very egotistical. And, and it's just, I guess in my book, it's very fun to bring those people back down, especially in my situation where I never interacted with a bunch of these dudes who are blocking me on Twitter. And it's funny. It's funny. It's another notch under my belt. And it's amusing because you have a lot of really hurt people out there who claim to be these really, really tough and and rugged dudes on the internet but yet they're soft as pudding on the inside but anyway uh that's enough of that i, I just figured i'd share that because it was entertaining i didn't do much i didn't do anything basically and i got some results some surprising results that i did not expect on my little social networks but let me know if you have any funny stories on your social networks, either Twitter, Facebook. If you have a YouTube channel, share it with me on the comment section. You can leave a comment on iTunes. You can leave some feedback there. You could also leave me your own feedback directly on Twitter, which is at Jose V Beta. I'll leave it on the descriptions or I'll leave it on the description. You can follow me, leave some feedback in regards to the show. And I'll read it. I'll read it. I'll give you a shout out. And speaking of feedback, I've been getting some really positive feedback about the Anything Podcast. So I appreciate those listening. And I appreciate those following me on Twitter, regardless of my number. You know, a lot of people focus on numbers. Numbers don't mean nothing. Uh, you can have the biggest IQ, but if overall, as a human being, you suck. Nobody's going to really give a damn about you. So remember that. You could be the smartest person when it comes to reading books and everything. But if you don't have street smarts and common sense, nobody's going to want to be around you. Man. Uh, so and I know a lot of people like that. There's a lot of people in New York City like that. But anyway, I'm mumbling. You guys enjoy the rest of your Sunday. I'm Jose Betancourt. And as always, I'll talk to you next week.